All right, this tutorial is going to show you how to do our outline for the CNC machine for our wood speaker that we're going to be doing in the wood shop. Uh, we are going to draw first the shape of our speaker in Autodesk Inventor. So you're going to go ahead and open up Autodesk Inventor. It takes a while to open. It's a fairly large program. All right, before we do anything, we want to make sure that we get this thing saved in the right folder. That's where you're going to be graded on, so we want to make sure it gets to the right spot. So you're going to start off, first off, we're going to start off by doing our part. It's going to give you a couple options. and then open up. So if it gives you some kind of option about learning or you just want to collect uh, to start uh, start working. Alright, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the file menu, we're going to do a save as. Save as. We're going to type your name. Obviously it'll be your name. And this is going to be speaker. Now we're going to put this in the following folder. We're going to put this in TechEd M students fin eighth grade and there's a folder in here called CNC speaker and you're gonna put it in your corresponding nine weeks so if this is the third nine weeks you're gonna put it in the third nine weeks folder if it's the fourth and so on and so forth so here's the third nine weeks you're gonna call it your name speaker Click save. So now we have the ability to get back in to our uh, program here if we happen to run into the end of the period and come back tomorrow. All right, so from here, the first thing that we're going to do, your uh, particular computer should already be set up with uh, the grid lines that we had just set up with in the dog tag act activity. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to start a new sketch. We're going to select the XY plane and we can scroll out with the mouse from our origin here and we're going to start by creating the size of the box that we are going to be cutting out of. So we're going to start and it's real important here when we're doing a CNC program that we start at the origin make our line here and you are going to type 9.25 and that's in inches hit the tab and you're going to be at 4.5 and you'll need to scroll, you might have to scroll back in a little bit here if you happen to be zoomed out kind of scroll yourself in here into our front view and here's your, here's your rectangle okay so that rectangle we are actually done with that particular portion of the uh, of the cutout. We're actually going to finish the sketch. Once again, you kind of scroll out here, and you're going to extrude. Now, it's real important when you're doing a CNC program that you extrude away from yourself. So at this, we're going to select our direction two, which is away, and we're going to put 0.75. Our particular boards that we're going to be working with are three quarters of an inch. So okay, now that we have our uh, stock piece set up, we can now go ahead and put our shape that's going to be our speaker um, onto the one face and then ultimately extrude it right out. So we're going to do that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to right click over top of our face here and we're going to say a new sketch. So we're going to draw a new sketch on top of this first thing we're going to do is we're going to select our circle maybe scroll in a little bit on your mouse now remember from the dog tag that there's kind of like an automatic little dotted line that'll center it so we can actually center our circle top to bottom right away here with this we can click we're going to draw a three inch circle 
we've got a three inch circle there we're gonna make sure that it's an adequate distance away from the edge and we're gonna do that using our project geometry key here we click project geometry we're gonna click somewhere on the face and you'll see that it kind of lightens up a uh, yellow box around then we're gonna dimension and we're gonna dimension from the edge here to the center of the circle and we're gonna drag it up off of the drawing we're going to do that and we're going to move it over to two and a half inches from the edge. So we get that two and a half inches over from the edge. That positions the circle where we want it to be. All right, so the next thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to make what's called a construction line. We're going to take this construction line and we're going to start at the top left corner we're gonna move it over all the way across the top of our piece we're gonna go over five inches so now what we've done is we've created a point where we can actually draw our rectangle that's gonna hold our phone uh, in this in the uh, cell phone speaker so we click rectangle go to this point that we created off of the construction line and we're gonna make a rectangle that is three and a quarter hit the tab on your keyboard and you're gonna make that two and three quarters so 2.75 deep hit enter so now we have a completed rectangle and a completed circle and our construction line here so now if you escape from the keyboard and you click on your construction line you can actually delete that get rid of your construction line the next thing that we want to do is we want to connect our box that our cell phone is going to sit in with the speaker here, the, the cone that we're going to create. So you're going to do that with our arc tool, our arc tool. And this is a three point arc tool. You want to make sure that you have selected three point. You're going to find your center of your uh, particular rectangle here with our little green and actually move it over just slightly. It's not super precise here, but we will get it good enough and you're going to click the edge of your circle and now this is where the arc comes in we're gonna actually make our arc we're gonna go two inches two inch arc and we're gonna repeat that process here to make the other edge of our circle our arc find your center move it over a little bit click you're going to click the lower half of your circle somewhere here. This will kind of amplify the sound. Click. And we're going to make this a four inch arc. So now we've created a place for the sound to go, but we got to open up our walls for the sound to travel. So we're going to do that using what's called our trimming command. And if we trim, you can actually select this trim and just kind of go over the part that you want to trim and it kind of automatically selects most of the time for you so it did work here on this particular one where our sound from our phone is going to come out of click that and then we're going to have it project over here to our speaker which it also worked here click that so now we have a completed um, shape for our speaker at that point we are done sketching we can do a finished sketch and it'll move back to our three-dimensional uh, view. Now we want to be able to extrude this shape that we just drew and get rid of it. We're going to do that with our extrude button. We're going to select over top of that particular part. Now more than likely it's going to pull out. We actually want to go back through it so that what's being cut out by the NC router is actually uh, what what shape goes away. And we're really going to go back through now instead of doing a distance, which sure we could do a 0.75, but this is a little practice for you. You're going to be able to actually select this all, regardless of how thick the object is that you're going through. It just says, I'm going to go through this whole thing. So you can select all. And at that point, you can select OK. We have just created our speaker, our middle part of our speaker that we're going to be cutting out on the CNC machine. So we want to do one final save here. Do a file, do a save as. I'm going to make sure that we have this in TechEdM 
students in eighth grade and there's one in here called CNC speaker and whatever nine weeks you have here this is particularly when I'm recording this is the third nine weeks make sure that you have your name and speaker and we're gonna get you some points for that so go ahead and click save it's gonna say it already exists you want to replace it you're gonna click yes now if you happen to get the message that says something about exiting 2d mode uh, that means that you just simply have an exited 2D mode. Just say OK to that and it'll move you into the ability to save. Alright, so that completes our tutorial here on creation of the center part of our speaker that we're going to be making in the shop. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye.